this whole question about ethics and conflicts and honesty comes at that intersection of the unexpected. We are all expecting things to be pretty predictable and we conduct ourselves accordingly. But when you get into that situation where all of a sudden it's unexpected, then values get challenged. It's very lonely. You don't have a team. It's you and the unexpected. As you are honest with Olga and you respect her and you have maintained open and truthful communication with her and other stakeholders. And you have also included her in the decision making process. After evaluation of other ethical frameworks, the virtue ethical framework is most appropriate. This framework's virtues guide your actions and can align the Daniels Fund Ethic Initiative principles with your family-like culture and virtues. First, we believe strongly that HOD executives should be very clear with Olga and transparent on the issues that they overheard. Secondly, we also believe that HOD should make a clear statement to all employees about their health and wellness policies. Trust is going to be very important to any solution that we have, and we feel to make it rec uh, an effective solution, trust needs to be ad addressed, especially employee trust, because depending on how the situation is handled, there is a lot of employee trust that can be gained or lost. There are a few times in which it is appropriate to use genetic information in the workplace. <laughs> HOD currently does not have anybody who is qualified to make the call as to when that is acceptable, and that is why there needs to be a strategic human resources director who possesses the knowledge, experience, and ethicality to analyze these situations and provide the proper channels of communication necessary. Uh, at the forefront of the legal genetic scenario right now is the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, otherwise known as GINA. Essentially what GINA says is that you cannot make any employment decisions regarding current or potential employees based on genetic information that you either have about them or assume about them. We would like to suggest that you offer to reposition her within the company to a more administrative role. Uh, in this role, she will be able to continue to use her expertise and knowledge of the company, as she has already proven that she is a very hardworking employee, and she will also be provided with any of the necessary training in order for her to succeed in this role. What we're focused on is fostering that family environment that you have had and that you hold so dearly, and ensuring that you have clear communications across all lines through employees as well as top management. With recent events, we believe that op open communications and honesty with Olga and Monica will again allow you to execute each tenant of ethical business practice fully. Every action that you have had since the accident thus far has been right and correct. Now you can use our recommendation, and you should use our recommendation, because it embodies the virtual framework, the Daniels Fund ethics principles, and your family culture, while considering all legal, medical, and stakeholder interests. In all of our research, we have found no indication that doctors would treat Olga any differently with the knowledge of her genetic information. In light of that, we continue to recommend that you use the laws set forth in GINA. In looking at respect, um, that's very important to consider, especially with even more sensitive information now being brought to the table. Um, just respecting Olga's privacy and the privacy of her family is of the utmost importance. Strategic recruitment is so important because your employees are the number one source of competitive advantage. This, is, uh, this SHRD position gets the right people at the right time with the right training and puts them in the right position. So we're still recommending that you implement a, a principle-based ethics and compliance program that is scaled for your company. The most important part of the ethics and compliance program associated with this part of the case will be the code of conduct. We do suggest that when you call the doctor, um, you do tell her, tell the doctor that Olga made it her choice not to tell her husband about her issue. We don't know why, but the fact that she's held it from her husband <clears throat> for this period of time means that she had a very good reason to do so. We have information that could potentially save a life, but then again, we don't want to violate the respect of Olga. Or... We decided that empowering Monica would be the best because she is closest to the situation. She knows more information than we can.
As a veteran news anchor, I've seen companies go out of business and professional careers destroyed when ethical standards are compromised or ignored. I was deeply impressed by Bill Daniels and how he was guided by the belief that honesty and integrity were his most important business assets. I do want to thank the students. Uh, it's so overwhelmingly clear the amount of hard work that you put into it, very legitimate work. Um, this is very serious work for me and for the Daniels Fund. I tried as hard as I could, yet you still came up with important insights uh, that I did not. It is such a pleasure to join you today and to celebrate uh, the incredible hard work of the students. I uh, have to say that the quality of the exercises, um, at least that of a law school, uh, I think as parents we have a job to make sure that the transition from teenage years into college and the workplace takes place and that um, our kids go into the workplace with some idea of the expectation that businesses have around ethics. So each of the members of the top three placing teams will receive medallions. The first place team will also bring home the beautiful traveling trophy.